when temperatures don't often dip below zero, it's not that common. So it is easy to forget just how quickly our health and our homes could be in danger. And that's why we're keeping our crews out of the elements this morning. Let's check in with Tanisha Cordell. She is inside Storm Tracker 5. I wanted to say that, Tanisha, you're inside with some important cold weather reminders for all of us today. <laughs> I see you smiling through your mask. You, 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 you know, it, it's like like joy all over my face. Okay, photographer Dave Karaska and I are not missing outside today. I feel like this is the first time we're not super bundled up, freezing, frowning at y'all, joking about how cold it is outside. Okay, <laughs> I gotta point that out. But yeah, you know, it's as simple things like that uh, that really make a big difference. So we've got some tips on how everyone at home, uh, you know, and out there can really do some small things to stay safe and protect yourself in this freezing weather. With temps and wind chills below zero across Northeast Ohio today, frostbite can set in quickly within 10 to 15 minutes. Your ears, nose, fingers, and toes at greatest risk. In this video from Parma Fire Department's thermal imaging camera, you can see just how fast a person loses body heat when just taking off gloves or a hat. This is why dressing properly is so important. You should wear three to four layers of dry synthetic materials and avoid cotton. It retains moisture, so if it gets wet, you'll be even colder. Keep in mind, your body temp only has to drop two to four degrees to experience hypothermia. Freezing temps can be just as much as a threat to your pets, too. The Cleveland APL tells us they are in no way prepared to cope, so avoid taking them outside except for short bathroom breaks. As for your home, frozen pipes could be a big problem over the next few days. It's most likely to happen in the bathroom, kitchen, and unheated areas like the garage. If this happens, try using a heating pad or hair dryer for 15 to 20 minutes until water starts flowing again. Also, never plug space heaters into an extension cord. Only plug directly into the outlet and keep them six feet away from furniture and other objects. All right, now we're making our way downtown Cleveland right now. I'll kind of turn the camera around so you can see a little bit. But, uh, you know, just spotting folks making their way to work this morning. I I'm not spotting any skin, guys. Everyone completely bundled up, wearing those layers, layers as Trent has been warning everybody to do this morning. Staying safe, staying warm, exactly what you want to do. Now, if you are concerned about staying warm or if, even if you lose electricity, there are some warming shelters open in our area. We've got a list of those up on our website, news5cleveland.com and inside our News 5 app. 